Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you could strum through a song called All of Me by John Legend. And we end up cabling this on first fret, but we're going to start on an E minor chord. And we play E minor. First finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, second finger on the D on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going to a C major chord. We're going to play C major. First finger is going to go to the B on the first fret. Second finger on the D on the second fret, and third finger on the A on the third fret. And if you strum the A string and the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C, we're going to go into a G major chord. We play G major. First finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and the third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G, we're going to be going to a D major chord. We play D major. First finger goes to the G on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the high E on the 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the B string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, and that kind of the skinny 4 strings, that sounds a D major, and it sounds really, really happy. And that's basically our chord progression for our intro, our verse, and our chorus. Is we got E minor, C, G, D, and what you may want to do is kind of play around with kind of 3 downs on each of those chords kind of the punctuations that the piano is kind of making through that part. But a lot of times with a song like this too, um, something else that I like to use is something called a strum pattern. One of my favorite 4-4 four, four strum patterns for a song like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you take the E minor and just try that. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So we try that through our intro and our first chorus progression. We have E minor with a down. Until we get to kind of a verse tag where we go to an A minor chord and we play A minor. First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D on the second fret, and third finger on the G on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an like A minor chord and it sounds really, really happy or sad. It brings tears to my eyes. And then from there we go to the G major chord and then a D major chord. So we try that with kind of those three down hits. We have A minor, A minor. First tag, then we go into a pre-chorus part where we start on G major, and then we do another G major, and then we go to an E minor, and then we do another E minor, and then we go to an A minor, and then another A minor, and then this last part is slightly debatable actually. If you wanted to, you could kind of work kind of a C major chord to a D major chord to kind of make that push at the end of the pre-chorus. For myself, what sounds a little bit more like the recording is something called D sus, where if you take the D major and you take your pinky and kind of go to the high E on the third fret, if you kind of strum the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that sounds like D suspended, and that can kind of help resolve into that D major at the very end. So we tried the pre-chorus with the three down hits. We have G, G. Now if we try it with the down, down, up, up, down, up, we have G with a down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, 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 down, down, up, up, down, D sus, D major. And from there then we go into our chorus part which is just like our intro and our verse. Now the weird part is to play along with John, instead of starting on an E minor chord, it's actually starting on an F minor chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is if you take a capo and put it on first fret, then now your E minor is really an F minor chord, your C major is really a D flat major chord, your G major is really an A flat major chord, and your D major is really an E flat major chord, and the A minor is really a B flat minor chord. 
get to that D sus, it's, it's really uh, E flat sus. So we took it from the very, very beginning. We could work our intro with kind of those three downs. E minor, C, G, D. Or we could just kind of strum through that with a down, down, up, up, down, up. And we'd have E minor, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up. There, then we'd be going into our first verse. We'd have that same progression. So you can kind of work it with the three downs if you want to. C, G, D, E minor, C, G, D. Or we could do down, down, up, up, down, up through that. We'd have E minor, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, 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 down, our verse tags. If we try the three downs on that, we'd have A minor, A minor, G, D. Or we could try the down, down, up, up, down, up. We'd have A minor, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then from there, then we'd be going into our pre-chorus. We tried that with the three downs. We'd have G, G, So we got kind of that E minor, C major, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then from there, then we were going back into our verse. Now one other thing I would think about adding to the song was bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, you can throw in a bass note for that chord. So on the E minor, you can have the low E string for your bass, and then you kind of keep your down, up, up, down. So bass, down, up, up, down, E minor, low E bass, down, up, up, down. On the C chord, you have the A string for your bass. So C, A bass, down, up, up, down. On the G, you got the low E string for your bass. So G with low E bass, down, up, up, down. Up on the D, you got the D string for your bass. So D bass, down, up. Up, down, and on the A minor, you have the A string for your bass. A minor with the A bass, down, up, up, down, and on the D sus, you still have the D string for your bass on the D sus. So we tried that next verse with the bass notes. We have E minor with low E bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, up, down, D with the B bass, down, up, up, down, E minor with low E bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, up, down, D with the B bass, down, up. Up down E minor, low E bass down up. Up down C with an A bass down up. Up down G with low E bass down up. Up down D with an A bass down up. Up down E minor, low E bass down up. Up down C with an A bass down up. Up down G with low E bass down up. Up down D with an A bass down up. Up down. And if we try that next verse tag with basses, we have A minor with an A bass down up. Up down A minor with an A bass down up. Up down G with low E bass. D with the D bass. A minor with an A bass, A minor with an A bass, G with low E bass, D with a D bass. And then from there, then we'd be going back into our pre chorus. And if we tried that with our basses, we'd have G with low E bass, G with low E bass, E minor with low E bass, E minor with low E bass, A minor with an A bass, A minor with an A bass, D sus with a D bass. Bass, 
to the D-Bass, D with the D-Bass. And then from there, then we'd be going back into our chorus part. So we tried our chorus with that idea. We'd have E minor with the E bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, G with the E bass down, up, up, down, D with the D bass down, up, up, down, E minor with the E bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, G with the E bass down, up, up, down, D with the D bass down, up, up, down, up. Now something else you may want to try with the song though is kind of trying to finger style this and this could be kind of an interesting thing if, if you're kind of interested in this. Your thumb would kind of become your bass player on the E, A, and D strings and one way to kind of finger style is to take the index finger and, and let him play the G string, middle finger is going to play the B string and the ring finger plays the high E string so it's kind of like, like a division of labor. So you could kind of make it kind of a bass index middle ring kind of idea, kind of going between the strings thumb index middle ring. So thumb, index, middle, ring, thumb, index, middle, ring. And so for the E minor, you'd be following the low E string for your basses. On the C, you'd have the A for your bass. On the G, you'd have the low E string for your bass. And on the D, you'd have the D string for your bass. And on the A minor, you'd have the A string for your bass. So we took that chorus and then tried it as a finger style thing. You'd have E minor and kind of working at two for each chord could be a really good idea. C with an A bass, G with low E bass. D with the D bass, E minor with low E bass, C with an A bass, G with low E bass, D with a D bass. And then if we tried that through our, our, our next verse tag, which is almost like our bridge, we'd have A minor, A minor, G major with low E bass, D with the D bass, A minor with an A bass. pre-chorus part. So we tried that finger style. We'd have G with Louis bass, G, E minor with Louis bass, A minor with an A bass, and the D sus with the D bass, D, G with Louis bass, G with Louis bass, E minor with Louis bass, into our last chorus and we tried that finger style. A B minor, C, G with low E bass, D with the D bass, E minor with low E bass, C with an A bass, G with low E bass, D with the D bass, E minor with low E bass, C with an A bass, G with low E bass, D with the D bass, Myself, I almost want to hear a big E minor in the end. But that's the basics of how you can strum through and fingerstyle through all of me by John Legend. So good luck!